On today's episode of In The Know, we'll be exploring our new AI-driven accounting agent. Accounting agent helps you easily identify transactions that are complete, accurate, and ready to post. It helps you simplify gathering necessary contextual and compliance information, and it helps you efficiently ensure that the books are complete and correct. Hey, Pro Advisors, it's Jacqueline, and you're watching In The Know, where you get exclusive access to demos of Intuit product enhancements by the leaders who built them. Let's jump right in with Jason for a look at Accounting Agent. Jason, welcome. Awesome. Thanks very much. I really appreciate you having me. Hi, everyone. I'm Jason Wirth, Staff Product Manager at, with QuickBooks. Uh, before joining Intuit, I worked as a financial analyst, often using the outputs that are compiled in QBO by accountants. So I've seen how your work shapes business and personal outcomes. And today I'm excited to introduce you to the accounting agent to support your bookkeeping tasks. Accounting agent is designed to take work off your plate and to help you trust what's in front of you and give you the control that you need where you need it. Accounting agent sits on the scaffolding of the bank feed enhancements that you may have seen in another video from Joe and Shushma. You've already seen parts of the technology underpinning accounting agent in the predictions and explanations, and it utilizes those tools to power the four key features of accounting agent. Ready to post for fast batch posting, context gathering to collect missing information, anomaly detection, and that will help you catch outliers, and AI-powered reconciliation to ensure completeness. Ready to post and context gathering are in essentials and up, while anomaly detection and reconciliation uh, will be in plus and advanced. The U.S. launch was on July 1st, but we've been building this with weekly input from our partner council accountants uh, actually since last July. We built accounting agent with really three core tenants in mind. First, efficiency. In the grid, you'll see that through explanations and more accurate predictions. And now we're trying to identify transactions that are ready for you to post. In addition, we'll provide proactive support by getting you the right context that you need at the right time. And lastly, through review by checking for consistency and completeness in your books. You've told us that you spend a lot of time scanning transactions within each account and trying to figure out how long a given account might take and what the composition of transactions might be. And this is especially important when clients drop hundreds of transactions in a month. You've also told us that ready means more than just pre-filled suggestions. It means that those suggestions are data backed and they have a payee. So we built ready to post to surface transactions with a history of consistent posting for a given client. That means the same bank description, the same category, the same payee, so that you can review and batch post in one click. And since it's based on history, you're central to this feature. Ready to post is really your co-pilot, giving you the efficiency that you would have had with rules, but without ever needing to set them up or manage them. But it works with rules too. We'll never override any of your rules. You've told us that the rules are an important way of establishing control, and we will make sure to honor those first and foremost. Ready to post will simply act as your partner, and it'll evolve to reflect the evolution of your work for a client over time. So let's take a look at it. When a company's bank account has at least three high confidence transactions, you'll see a banner like you see here. Clicking it will show you a filtered view of the editable transactions. They'll be pre-checked, so if they're right, you can post them in one click. You're the one who will be reviewing and you're totally in control. You can make any changes necessary to make sure that things are right. And you'll always have a chance to look at them first. We're simply scaling your existing pattern. Our accuracy here so far is over 90%. The from two fields are always filled in and the predictions are always data backed with transactions from this individual client. The feature is still ramping. So if you haven't seen it yet, that's why we're really holding a high bar here for accuracy because we know that's what it takes to have bulletproof books. You can dismiss the banner and we'll stay out of the way. You can find those transactions though anytime using the drop down within the filter. So our next tenant after efficiency is proactive support. And that's where context gathering comes in. Many of you have told us that the bank feed is off limits for clients, either by their choice or yours, but you still need that context to post those transactions accurately. 
and and that's especially difficult when you need to select a category, a payee, or class, and you don't have the information that you need. And for many clients, you want to have a receipt on each and every transaction. Well, chasing that information takes a lot of time, and we've spent time with a lot of you seeing and hearing the phone calls, the emails, the overflowing receipt pouches, and messy spreadsheets. And so we built Accounting Agents Context Request Tool as a to-do list of the missing information that needs to live inside QBO. Clients don't need a login. You control all the reminders, the questions, as well as how and whether or not AI helps. You can select one or more transactions on which to ask questions. Use the chat column or group and select more info. You can ask a question on multiple transactions at one time that way, which is especially helpful for a client who might have a lot of checks. You can use the pre-fills that we have here on the bottom right for the common questions that we know you ask a lot, but you can always edit and ask your own question. You can post the transactions now and update later. We have a lot of accountants that prefer to do it that way because it allows them to reconcile, or you can leave the transactions in pending. The request won't be sent until you say go, and we'll always keep an update of your outstanding requests in both pending and posted using that chat column. So you'll always be uh, notified of the sta status of your different transactions. But of course, we're creating a, a request list here. So if you click the request, to, you can preview your current list. You create a single living list for each company. Your list it might shrink over time as your client responds, and it'll grow as you add more questions. From your list, you can mark transactions as complete, and you can also remove questions. If you click on the gear icon, this is where you can control the different elements of the feature. You can get alerts when clients reply. You can schedule messages to say, only send an email out to my clients at certain times of the week. Uh, and crucially, you can turn off the AI assistance. We know that the client communication that you have really reflects your brand. And so you deserve full control and you have it here. You can toggle it on and off. Uh, by your preference. And of course, since it is reflecting your communication with your client, we want to allow you to see what your client sees. Here, you can turn uh, between replies and request view. This allows you to see in replies view what your client would see uh, when they receive the link. So let's take a look at how you get them the link. You can do this in two ways. One is you can copy a magic link and you can send it through whatever channel works for you. If your client's more likely to respond with SMS, you can send them a text message. Slack, Teams, WhatsApp, email, we've seen all those uh, methods used. You're not limited to an email from QBO, which we know a lot of clients ignore, but we also give you that option to send a QBO email and you can customize it as well. Accounting agents context request feature is really built for flexibility so you can meet your clients where they already are to get responses more quickly and to ensure that your documentation stays organized. If you add or remove questions from your list, the link stays the same. So if your client responds to half the questions from the list and they get busy doing uh, their work, they can then use that same link to come back in finish the list, and complete even any new additions or back and forth you may have with them on a given transaction. When your client clicks the link, they'll be able to land in a mobile or web-friendly portal. The AI assistant will be able to help guide their responses. We find this to be especially useful for clients who might be unsure of exactly how to answer and give you the relevant information. My personal favorite and one that we hear uh, a positive feedback from a lot of accountants in our beta relates to receipts. If they forget to attach a receipt when you asked for it or uploaded the wrong file, the assist will gently follow up and ensure that you got the information that you need to post that transaction with documentation. But again, you choose whether the AI is on or off. You stay in the driver's seat. We're here to be your engine. Back in QBO, inside the bank feed, you'll see which transactions have open questions and which have been answered. And this column, again, is available on pending as well as posted to help keep you organized, and make sure you know it's still outstanding. Once a client responds, we'll suggest a category. You review and decide. And really, re-predictions and the client assistance is why now is the right time for us to build this capability. 
We're seeking to help reduce your mental load while we're still relying on you for that final judgment. We're also working on multiple lists per company. Today it's just one, but very shortly, this will be especially useful for clients that might have multiple cardholders or or uh, a partnership where you need to ask questions about transactions from different people. Optional authorization, so sensitive lists can stay secure, but will also ensure that just because they have a list doesn't mean they take a seat up on QBO, which will allow this to expand to those scenarios where you're dealing directly with uh, some of those folks who are operating within the business, but they might not have the reporting permissions to see the bank. And then refresh suggestions. We'll work on this for class, for payee, for matching, based on the client replies. And these are all coming soon. Next, let's take a look at anomaly detection. You've told us that reviewing the P&L and balance sheet for heirs, especially on a deadline, is a very manual and stressful process. So we built a tool that flags significant period over period changes and gives you a downloadable root cause analysis at the transaction level. You can make changes on individual transactions from there. Let's take a look at what this is on a P&L. Here on the P&L, you can see a few different sparkles, both at the report level as well as on individual lines. If you click on them, you can see the insights on one specific line item or throughout the whole report. Here I've clicked on the one for the, the entire report. And what you'll see is a number of different changes uh, or anomalies that are relevant to potentially surface. Now, some of these might be a mistake, Sometimes it's a story to tell a client, but either way, it's something that's surfaced, something that's explained, and something that's traceable for you to be able to look into. And this is your last line of defense. If something got into the books incorrectly, we can help you catch it before it gets to a client deliverable. And finally, reconciliation. This feature ensures that your books are complete, not just accurate, but really done. You upload a PDF bank statement and we compare it to your bank feed and posted transactions. We'll highlight what's missing or mismatched, and this will help you reconcile quickly and be able to move on. Let's take a look at a video of how that works. The new reconcile functionality is still in beta. A key feature here is the ability to upload your bank statement. On upload of the PDF, the agent proceeds to extract the information from it. Note this does take some time. But once done, the bank ending balance and ending date are automatically populated. Starting the reconciliation kicks off a three-way match between the transactions in your PDF, your bank feeds, and your QBO transactions. We clearly identify the transactions that need review and give you a summary of the discrepancies found. All transactions that are paired are marked in green. A delightful feature here shows you a single bank deposit recorded against a QBO payment and an expense for bank fees. You can easily filter down to the transactions that need your review. This first one lets you know that you have an extra transaction posted in QBO that you need to take care of, and you can edit the transaction right here. Here we detected a transaction that is still pending in the bank feed and has not yet been posted. Similarly, a transaction you might have excluded by mistake. A common occurrence is when transactions at the end of the period are not included in the bank statement. We indicate this and you can uncheck this transaction, which updates the discrepancy amount. With AI helping you find the needles in the haystack, you're still in control to correct the errors and complete your reconciliation. So that's accounting agent. We're guided by three themes, efficiency, proactive support, and review. It's built to support you and scale your professional judgment. The agent is designed to make your work easier and more consistent, as well as being accurate. But it gives you the visibility and control that you told us you needed. We're excited to keep building this with you, and we look forward to your continued feedback. Jason, thank you so much. And thank you for watching. If you find this update interesting or helpful, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. That's all we have for now. For more updates, check out our In The Now Hub. We'll catch you next time.